thank you, Lord, for choosing to be our Father, for accepting us amongst your beloved, for counting us as your own. Thank you indeed, in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are going to read Psalms 17, verses 7, 8, and 9. Psalm 17, 7 to 9. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand, O you who save those who trust in you, from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the wicked who oppress me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. Praise the Lord, the God-dependent person the child of God, the one that can become the apple of God's eye. Indeed, the one that is already the apple of God's eye. Or even the one that is in the process of becoming the apple of God's eye. Who is the apple of God's eye? The one who loves God, and God loves him back. And I know what Jesus said. If you love me, you will keep my commandment, and my Father will love you. Do you keep the commandments of God? God loves you. You become the apple of his eyes. The reading starts from, Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. There is the love of God. There is the kindness of God. There is the loving kindness of God. But here we are talking about the marvelous loving kindness. Undescribable loving kindness that comes from God. But it has a direction. It is directed at those who belong to God. The marvelous loving kindness of God. Directed to those who belong to God. Those whom he loves. One of the purposes it has is preservation from those who would want to destroy them. O oh, you who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them. You see, in this world, there are all manner and all forms of enmity. Justified, unjustified, just there, just enmity. That's all, but it's all of that. Everywhere you turn, there is enmity. But if you are the one that God will say you trust in him, you love him, you belong to him, there is a special coverage to you. And here he's saying, let it be demonstrated. I'm sure you've heard, if it has not been said about you, but you've heard said about others. That one, ah, the way God takes care of that person is different, though. So why wouldn't it be said about you? And anyway, if it was said about you yesterday, how about today? Are you still living the life that the same thing would be said? Continuously trusting in God. Your heart being loyal to God. Doing the things that are pleasing in his sight. And that's where it says, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. There is something in verse 9 that would look like it's a repetition of part of verse 7 and verse 8. But this is special. From the wicked who oppress me. Verse 7, we were talking about a general principle. God takes care of those who trust in him and all of that. Now I am talking about myself. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me then, me, from those who are up against me, from those who want to oppress me. In this world, you have people who want to oppress you. You have circumstances and situations that want to oppress you. Not to talk of the devil and his kingdom. They would want to do everything to oppress you since you don't want to submit to them. There is nobody in this world who has power in of himself or herself to be able to override any form of oppression or most forms of oppression. Because anyway, there are little things you can take care of, but the major things are. And then there are some oppressors you can handle, but there are those that are way beyond you. And in the wisdom of the world, people run to the devil for solutions. People run to occult groups. People run to join one thing or the other. People commit so many things in the process, go into sacrifices and that. 
But if you turn to God, by whom this whole world functions, he will give you the real coverage. He will protect you against those forces. But here, I want to repeat, it is a specific thing. Verse 7, we're talking about the general concept of God's care. Now you are presenting yourself. I'm presenting myself. This is me. I am coming to you, Lord. Protect me. There is so much that has risen up against me. There are deadly enemies who are after me. Sometimes I don't know them. Sometimes I don't even know that they are. The very person smiling at you might be the one that is ready to kill you the next second. The one that is eating with you from the same plate has a poison that is going to drop for you in that same plate. And you would never have any reason to think that the person eating with you is going to poison you right there and then. The one that you are taking care of might be the one that is ready to destroy your entire household, kill your children if you had any, destroy your marriage if it is existing, or ensures that you never even get married at all. All of those things, Lord, I submit myself to you. Now, here we are talking about following God non-optional. Following God without thinking back. Following God 100%. Submitting to God. Obeying him in all things. Knowing that God is all and in all. There are so many people who follow God and turning to other things. But there are yet so many others who have never turned to any other thing in their lives. But now, amongst those who have never turned to other things in their lives, how righteous are they? How trusting are they of God? How loving are they of God? When I talk about loving God, I am talking about how obedient are they to God? Are they obeying God in all things? Because here you are talking about the person who really, truly obeys God. We can get there if we try. There is no some miraculous way that you wake up in the morning and you're obeying God in all things. You have to take the step one by one. And sometimes you falter, but that does not stop you. You make your mistakes, you wake up from there, but continue to love God. The truth is God will protect you. And God himself at a certain point declares you are the apple of my eye. If you are the apple of God's eye, he protects you. If you do the things that are pleasing in his sight, be rest assured that God loves you. And because he loves you, he protects you. Those things that think they rise against you, none will succeed against you. Even the ones that seem to have succeeded, such success will fail. In every situation, guaranteed you will triumph. And I pray that in everything you face, you will come up more than a conqueror through Christ who loved you. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen.